Hi, I'm Jess, and I'm an athletic training student here at Seton Hall, and I will be playing the clinician today. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I'm also an athletic training student here at Seton Hall, and I'm going to be the patient today. Today we'll be demonstrating um, exercises for flexion and extension of the fingers, and we will start with a low amount of reps, and depending on the patient's status and pain, we'll increase to more reps and more time. So there are three joints within the fingers, and these joints are the MCP, PIP, and DIP and there are specific muscles for specific joint movements. So some of the finger flexion muscles include the um, flexor digitorum profundus and the flexor digitorum superficialis. And an example of like a specific joint movement is that the flexor digitorum profundus flexes at the DIP joint. Um, the extensor muscles of the fingers include the extensor digitorum, extensor indices, and the extensor digiti minimi and the lumbricals do both flexion and extension of the fingers. So right now we're going to do an isometric open kinetic chain um, extension exercises of the finger. So what I'm going to have the patient do is I'm going to have them lay their hand flat on the table. Nice, uh, make sure you tell them to stay nice and relaxed, make sure their fingers aren't flexed or anything. Um, palm has to be touching the table. And what they're going to do is they're going to lift each of their four fingers up off the table um, just to about an inch and hold it for 10 seconds, and you're gonna repeat that for three sets, 10 seconds each for all four fingers. So now we're gonna have an isometric flexion exercise, and this is also open kinetic chain. So what I'm gonna have the patient do is I'm gonna have them put their forearm on the table, make sure it's supinated, um, stay nice and relaxed, and I'm gonna give them the stress ball, and they're gonna leave it in the palm of their hands, um, they're not going to use their thumb for this one because we're just working on finger flexion. So what she's going to do is she's going to squeeze the ball with all four fingers and hold it there for 10 seconds. And we're going to do three times 10 seconds. So for an isotonic open kinetic chain for an exercise for finger flexion, we're going to have the same exact positioning and directions as um, before, except now instead of holding for seconds, we're going to have the patient hold in flexion and do three sets of 10 reps. So the concentric phase is when they are squeezing the ball just like that or flexing their fingers and eccentric is when they release. So now we have our isotonic open kinetic chain exercise for extension of the fingers. So we're going to be using the TheraBand web tool. So what I'm going to have the patient do is put their thumb in about row two and then filter the rest of their fingers um, either two or three rows away depending like on size of the hand and comfortability. So what they're going to do is they're going to keep their thumb stabilized on the table and extend their fingers as best as they can or you could just say straighten them out, whatever. Um, and we're going to do three sets of ten reps. So the concentric phase of this exercise is when the patient straightens out their fingers and the eccentric is when the fingers go back due to the resistance of the TheraBand. So for our closed kinetic chain exercise for flexion of the fingers, um, I'm going to have my patient doing towel crunches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the towel out flat on the table, um, instruct the patient to put their hand comfortably flat on the table, good, and I'm going to have them bring their fingers into their, into their palm as if they're making a fist and crunch the towel. So we're going to do this for three sets times 10 reps. So in order for this to be a closed kinetic chain exercises, you have to make sure that the most distal part of their finger or their fingertips are always touching the table. Now we have our closed kinetic chain exercise for extension of the fingers. So what I'm going to have the patient do is lay their hand flat on the table. Good. And with this exercise, you want to make sure the fingers remain flat on the table. Um, and I'm going to have them bring their palm up, extending all the fingers. Go ahead. Good. And we're going to repeat that for three sets of 10 reps. And with this exercise, you want to make sure that you instruct the patient not to let their pain exceed a 4 or 5 out of 10 because this exercise specifically causes pain to the MCP joint. For functional exercises for flexion and extension of the fingers, um, we decided to use football. So this is good for example for football quarterbacks. Um, so for flexion, we're going to have the patient grip the football 
and for extension, it's going to be the follow through on the throw. So um, this is an example of flexion, and then we get right into extension. Make sure you practice your flexion and extension of your fingers on the way out. Thanks for watching.